Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Time and Tarot. This is Tanya. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Cross watchers, you're always welcome. Good afternoon, good morning, Divine Time and Tarot family. I love you guys. I thank you. I truly appreciate you. You guys have really been hanging in there with me now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome new subscribers. So guys, we're here doing a general reading for libra this is for the first week of february 2022 this is for sun moon rising and venus libra i've already shuffled sage break over your cards let's get some overall energies for you guys know that i'm doing ten dollars off on personal readings if you want one my information is in the description box below god angels ancestors holy spirit what are the overall energies for Libra? What do you have for Libra? What do you have for Libra? God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit, what do you have for Libra? Okay, got two there. Let's get, okay. Um, one more for Libra. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Libra, at the bottom of the deck, you got the High Priestess. Listen to your intuition. There could be something that's being hidden right now. Have patience. And consider, you know, carefully what you want before acting on it, Libra. Libra, you have the Four of Swords. You're needing to be, yeah, patient, rest, be patient. It's like, you know, get yourself balanced. Um, it's time to pray, meditate about something here. Maybe some of you guys need to take a vacation, allow more time before making a decision, okay? Could be dealing with a air sign like yourself, Gemini, Aquarius, but... It's like you took a step back from something because it was just too much. So it's time for you to take a break and just, you know, take care of yourself right now. You have the renewal card. This was this is review, evaluate. Time to move in a new direction. You have the Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, I see um, a windfall here. Universe is offering you a new abundant beginning here. This is an inflow inflow of abundance. This could be a business venture. Could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Don't have to be. And then we have the chariot. Someone is definitely moving forward here. Libra, it's either you or someone you're dealing with. But someone here had to take a step back from a situation. Somebody here is all also wanting a renewal, wanting a new beginning here, wanting to move forward. Somebody here is determined to move forward. Determined to move forward. Someone is definitely using their intuition here. Somebody took too long to offer something stable. Because they were definitely possibly given to someone else. We got the Three of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles under the High Priestess. Let's clarify these for you, Libra. Why is the Four of Swords here for Libra? God, Angels, Ancestors, Holy Spirit. Why is the Four of Swords here for Libra? Why is the Four of Swords here for Libra? Why is the Four of Swords here, guys, for Libra? Okay, so yeah, we have the Star card, and this is, you know, somebody being very optimistic about a situation. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Someone is definitely being divinely guided here. Whoever took a step back because this was just too much. This person, somebody here, like I said, is determined to move forward. 
Somebody here is definitely protecting themselves with the Nine of Wands being here. Somebody's also willing to fight for a situation. Somebody really wants a new beginning here with you, Libra, or you wanting a new beginning with somebody else. Because right now, things are at a standstill. Why is the Renewal card here for Libra? The Will of Fortune. This is good luck. This is good fortune. Destiny, karma. Something is definitely going to go in your favor. Things are definitely about to change, okay? For the better. Something is about to change for the better. We have the nine, the Six of Swords. This is moving the karma waters here. Why is the Six of Swords with the Will of Fortune? We have the King of Swords. This could definitely be your energy. You're wanting to communicate some truth here. You're wanting to communicate some truth to someone. Someone you're not speaking to. Nine of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. Definitely see some finances. Your finances, if they've been like, you know, at a standstill, there's abundance coming in for you. Or you could be, you know, somebody could be here dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn that's very stable. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? The Seven of Wands. So it could be dealing with a Leo Sag or Aries. But somebody is... Somebody here has boundaries. Somebody here is standing up for what they believe in. Somebody here is blocking something here. Somebody here is possibly not wanting a new beginning. Someone here is possibly afraid of being hurt again. What flipped over? The Queen of Wands. Somebody here definitely wants to take action, but somebody has somebody could have somebody blocked, or they're just not, you know, communicating. Someone here's just not communicating. Somebody probably here don't want don't want to fuss, fight, and argue anymore. Somebody wants to communicate, but they could be blocked. There's some good news coming in. Yeah, someone's definitely spying here. The page of swords spying on somebody because somebody here like i said wants a new beginning possibly with an earth sign doesn't have to be that sign it could be any sign y'all all the signs are here on the table why is the chariot here for libra why is the chariot here for libra yeah somebody here is in love with someone here could be a gemini doesn't have to be but someone here wants to move forward with somebody that they're in love with Ooh, but like I said, the Three of Swords, this is the second time I've seen the Three of Swords. Somebody here is really in pain due to a third party here. Why is the lovers here with the chariot? OMG, the chariot is clarifying the chariot and the lovers. Someone here is determined to move forward. Why is the chariot here twice with the lovers, guys? The Ten of Cups. Because whoever you you're want who you're in love with somebody and this person emotionally fulfills you. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Why is the Ten of Cups here? Someone is determined to move forward with somebody here. Ooh, somebody in your past, Libra. Could be a soulmate connection here. Whoever this past person is, you're in love with them and they emotionally fulfill you. And you're determined to move forward with them. Or maybe someone is determined to move forward with you, Libra. Why is the Ten of Cups with the Six of Cups? The Seven of Pentacles. Somebody here is wanting to invest in someone that they are in love with. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Yeah, but somebody here is taking a step back. The Four of Swords again. Whatever this situation was, somebody was really hurt. It was too much for them. They took a step back. 
Somebody here is definitely going through a healing process, trying to move forward. Someone here is definitely trying to move forward away from something that, you know, really hurt them. Something really hurt and this person is moving away because they're trying to heal. Somebody here is trying to heal. Okay, let's see what's... Oh, those are the wrong cards. I put those in the wrong, in the wrong spot. Okay, Libra, let's see what's going on between you and your person, okay? Let's see. Let's see what's going on. God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. Let's see what the situation is here. Let's see what the situation is for Libra and their person. What is the situation for Libra and their person? Okay, Libra, this is you. This is your person. This is the situation between you and your person and the challenge and the outcome. At the bottom of the deck, we got the five of swords. So there could have been, you could have been um, dealing with an air sign like yourself, but somebody here was very manipulative, you know, trying to, you know, somebody here was maybe trying to win, is trying to win at all costs. But, you know, somebody here like to play a lot of mind games. Dang. We got three major arcanas here at the bottom of the deck. The Wheel of Fortune, the Chariot, and the Empress. I think something here is destined to be. Could, it, could be dealing with your Divine Masculine or your Divine Feminine, Libra. Okay, so Libra. The change of life, the tower. Something unexpected went on between you and your person. And now you're wanting a second chance. You want to balance things out with this person. Someone here is definitely, you're being divinely guided right now, okay? And the ace, yep, you want, a, you want a new beginning with your person. The ace of wands, you're very passionate about this person. You want a passionate new beginning. So let's see what's on your person's mind. The seven of cups, this person is confused. They do have options. And we have the three of wands. Looks like someone here is, is going to turn their back on the situation because someone is confused and they have options. Your person feels that you're very confused and you have options. So they're going to turn their back on this situation. The knight of wands. See, your person feels that you're, you're dealing with other people. You out there just, you know, being, you know, having sexual... You know, <laughs> your person feels that you just out there in them streets, okay? Out there in them streets. Pretty bad. Yeah, your person feels that you're non-committal and you're not trustworthy. What is the, uh, what's between you guys? The six of swords. Somebody here wants to move to calmer waters or someone here is moving to calmer waters. What is the challenge? Someone is taking a, taking a leap of faith. And moving on and starting their own journey. I'm also, yeah, I'm, that's what I'm getting. Yeah. Someone is moving on and they're starting their own journey. The outcome is the nine of pentacles. Yeah. Someone is starting their own journey. Someone is looking good, smelling good. And it could be this Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. If you're dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, your person has decided to move on. They have decided to move on. Hmm. I'm going to clarify. Why is the what, the tower here? Why is the tower here for Libra? God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. Why is the tower here for Libra? Why is the tower here for Libra? Just one card. I'm just going to put one card now. Why is the tower here for Libra? We have the Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups here with the tower? The Queen of Swords. 
somebody here was dealing with two different people. That's why the tower came in. Why is temperance here? Why is temperance here? The nine of swords. Now someone is stressing out. Someone is regretting that whatever they did. Someone is depressed, can't eat, can't sleep. Why is the ace of wands here? Why is the ace of wands here? The king of wands. Somebody here was very passionately driven. That's why I say, Libra, your person feel that you were dealing with a lot of people sexually on a sexual level. Why is the seven of cups here for your person? Um, we got the six of wands in the reverse. So someone feels that they're not getting victory, so they're just going to move on. Someone feels that this is not going to be successful. Why is the three of wands here for Libra's person? Why is the three of wands here for Libra's person? Yeah, somebody here is at a crossroads. We have the lovers. This person was in love with you. Yeah. This person could be waiting too also is what I'm hearing too. Somebody here could be waiting because they're in love with you and they do want to reunite with you. But I'm also hearing your person turned your back or turned their back because there was two people. There's someone here had to make a decision between two people. There was a third party here with the three of cups here and the three of wands. That's why your person turned their back on you with the knight of, with the knight of wands. You know what that is. This is somebody that's very confused and non-committal. And they like have enjoy having sex with lots of people. Yeah, seven of swords. Your person thought you were very shady. Did things behind their back. Sneaky, a liar. Why is the six of swords here with the fool? Why is the six of swords here with the fool? Yeah, the will of fortune. Something here is destined to end. Something here is destined to end. Yeah. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? The Nine of Cups. This is definitely your wish fulfillment. Definitely your wish fulfillment. Somebody here is focused on their money. Someone is, is, is moving towards their wish fulfillment also. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here for Libra? Nine of Pentacles for Libra. Yeah, this person is moving on. The chariot and the nine of pentacles. Your person is moving on. Because they don't trust you. Yeah. Five of swords. They think you play too many mind games. At the end of the day. Give me an outcome here for Libra. Ooh, that came out quick. The two of swords. Somebody's very indecisive. What's the outcome here? Somebody is unwilling to make a decision here. The magician. I say a trickster. I said, I said somebody was dealing with a trickster. Libra, this is what I have for you. If you resonate, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, guys. Bye.